Hi hello this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see the details about Intune tenant status page tenant status page will provide you the details of Intune service release version first of all i wanted to show you if you don't have access to Intune then you will get this kind of error so you should have proper access i have provided all the access details in the blog a link so you can see the blog post link in the description of the video so what i did is i have logged in with a proper intune admin access i clicked on intune and let's see i will get access from this or not i am clicking on tenant status as i mentioned in the tenant status page you would be able to see details of tenant your tenant details and connector status along with intune service health details okay what is the status of intune if you have raised any uh, support tickets with intune you will be able to get the details over here so incident details in intune related incident details related to your tenant intune news details is also available in this tenant when i say intune news it is related to messages service related intune messages uh, will be available in the screen so you don't have to go to office 365 admin portal to get the messages that can be visible from intune tenant status page itself so that's uh, really useful in the tenant details itself you would be able to see the tenant name mdm authority is assigned to intune service release okay, so if you click on service release the documentation page will automatically get opened you would be able to see like what are the features released in the latest version of Intune and you would be able to see the total licensed users total Intune license and enrolled devices as well so in this tenant I don't have any device at the moment so this is kind of my test tenant in the next session you would be able to see the connector status in the connector status you would be able to see the autopilot lasting status and Google Play lasting status and all the other connector statuses you would be able to see if there is any connector is healthy or unhealthy in the status tab you would be able to see if it's enabled or it's, it's if it's healthy or not once it's enabled you would be able to see the status whether it's healthy or not from the connector status and if you go down into service health service health is basically for giving you the details about incidents or advisories you have raised with microsoft intune support team that details and updates will be available over here this service health uh, requires some additional permissions or RBAC policies those RBAC policies i have mentioned in the blog post and that blog post uh, url is in the description of this video the last is Intune News. If Microsoft is sending any messages, then uh, at the moment you need to go to Office 365 message sender and you need to look at the notification of any messages uh, related to your tenant. After implementing tenant status page, you would be able to see all these details in one single page. That is very useful. And also, like you have uh, shortcuts to check all the connections from this page itself if you click on all the connections then it would show you all the connection connectors for your tenant and the details and most importantly the service release number is very useful in terms of my experience because i'll be kind of wondering after reading the new documentation from microsoft i'll be always wondering why this particular feature is not enabled or available in my tenants looking at the tenant service release version in this case 1812 you would be able to see whether your tenant is updated or not so once it is updated or you have latest tenant service release number version then the new features like this would be available for your tenant this is very useful as an intune admin for me i think that is it for this video i hope you like this video it's useful thank you for watching see you next time